Right now at 5.30, police making an arrest after a forklift fatality in Fort Lauderdale. Authorities say that victim was simply driving his convertible when he was suddenly hit by a forklift. That impact killing the driver, and witnesses say the forklift operator tried to drive away. Local 10's Nella Sabovic is live with more on this. Nella. Well, this is just a very sad story. The victim in all of this, a seven-year-old man from Canada, only in town for two weeks, was driving down here along Seabreeze Boulevard when this awful accident happened. Fort Lauderdale police say the man never once stopped to render A, this forklift operator. He simply took off. A forklift operator is behind bars following a fatal crash. Fort Lauderdale police arrested this man, 30-year-old Ulysses Mondragon Umansor. They say Umansor was operating a forklift early Sunday morning along Poinsettia Street in Seabreeze Boulevard, pulling too far into the intersection with the forks out. The driver of a black Mercedes, 70-year-old James Zakos, struck those forks. He had the top down. It was a beautiful Mercedes, beautiful day, going for a Sunday drive. Probably the last thing that ever crossed his mind. Zakos, who was a snowbird from Canada, was raced to Broward Health Medical Center, where he died a short time later. Police say Umansor never stopped following the crash. He parked the forklift a block away and had no intention of returning back to the scene. Witnesses ended up flagging him down. The construction worker first backed up the forklift, and then he drove through the intersection, and he drove to the staging area, and he left. And it was only because other people who watched the accident went to go and get him. Turns out Umansor didn't even have a valid driver's license or a permit to operate heavy machinery. He appeared in bond court earlier in the day. He's facing several charges, including leaving the scene of a crash and failing to stop at a stop sign. Umansor was a subcontractor for Skanska USA. He was working on the Las Olas project when this accident happened. Skanska released this statement, reading in part, We're deeply saddened by this tragic incident and our thoughts and prayers are with the family during this time. An investigation led by the Fort Lauderdale Police Department is underway and we are fully cooperating with authorities. And the victim does leave behind a son and daughter in Canada. I had a chance to speak to his son. He tells me that his entire family is devastated. He was an amazing father and he also says that his dad left a positive impact on everyone that he met down here in South Florida. We certainly send that family our deepest condolences. That's the very latest here out of Fort Lauderdale. Sonella Sabovic, Local 10 News.